Let's find out what's going on in the arts. And Abigail's here this morning from the Arts Council. How are you this morning? I'm doing well, Scott. How are you? Good. You brought a guest with you. Yes, I'm here with Mindy Austin with the Visual Arts Society. Hey, Mindy. Thanks for being with us today. Howdy. Tell us, first of all, a little bit about the Art League, in case folks don't know. Okay. Uh, Well, it's a 50-year-old organization celebrating 50 years this year. We're going to have a special show uh, called Hullabaloo, but formerly we were called Brazos Valley Art League. There were so many complications with Brazos Valley this and that and this and that. Uh, A couple years ago, uh, we renamed our group to be called the Visual Art Society of BCS. There you go. So uh, so basically, what's what's your charge? What do you do? Uh, we're the makers of art. We do all kinds of um, shows. We have opportunities for um, our members to show their art, like right now, uh, Wyndham Garden Hotel is full of our art. We have it at um, Perrine Winery and the Brazza Center. Uh, we let our members know about opportunities to sell their art and um and also to learn from other artists. So we have monthly meetings and shows, three shows this year we have planned. Is there a need for volunteers or anything, or you just, you need to get more artists to join your organization? Oh, we have a, we have quite a few members online, but uh, it's time for people to get back in their car and put your mask on if you want and come to our meetings, please. Yes. We want to know what you want to do. So we have photographers and sculptors and water watercolorists, painters. I'm an outdoor painter. We just want to have a group where we can learn from each other and we can bring in uh, other artists to teach us. We have at every meeting, we have a demonstration on our September 12th meeting. We have Mark Sykes, the photographer, coming in and talking about the art of posing people. So this could work for people who like to paint portraits or just visual layout for anybody and also all of our photographers. So what else have you got coming down the road? Well, we have our Hullabaloo show celebrating our 50th anniversary. The entry deadline is uh, September 9th. The show will open at D Gallery on September 30th and stay up until until November 1st. Uh, you have to be a member, but it's not much to join, and um, it's a fun thing. There's an opening event on September 30th. Okay, and that's uh, the gallery's right over by KBTX on 29th Street yeah, right there. Uh, mm-hmm. well, officially North Rosemary, but you're yeah. right, right across from KDB- KBTX. There's an online photography show uh, going on right now. The deadline is September 19th called Captured 2022. So it's an online photo exhibit. So that's a great way for the photographers to participate also. So it now can also be in the other show. Brazos Valley Gives is coming up and uh, I'm sure y'all are going to be taking part in that. Yes, we're happy to participate. It's such a joyful day, October 18th. And we're there, v- Visual Art Society of Brazos Valley. We use it for our scholarships. We uh, offer high school scholarships to people pursuing art careers. And we also have uh, the Aggieland Art Trail, which we created with a grant from the Arts Council a couple years ago. And it's time to to update it. We have all of the art exhibits and art uh, possibilities in Bryan and College Station. We have all galleries and museums. We have all the veteran memorial art, 11 galleries, museums, 10 cafes, wineries, and hotels, 95 murals, and two potteries, all <laughs> listed with a QR code. You could take any guests you have at any time. Those maps are available online. And so uh, what's the website if they want to see that? Yeah, that's uh, visualartsociety.org. All right. Anything else this morning? Oh, also, we have an online art auction. We had some nice art donated uh, from the Scomardo family. And it's a replica art, but it's very interesting. And it's on our website, statues, copies of master's artwork. And uh, it, they're real paintings, but they're um, replicas. So that's on, on our online auction on our website. We'll look for that. Thanks for the time this morning. Thank you. You bet. What else you have? So for the Arts Council, we will be displaying our current Staff Pits Gallery exhibit in the Arts Council lobby until Friday, September 9th. So make sure you come out and see the work of our amazing featured artists before we bring in our next round of Staff Pits. Also, we are still showing our gallery exhibit, The Colors of Nature and Music. These artists are incredible, and the paintings on display are honestly so stunning. And with the fall semester starting up, we are looking for interns to join our team. So if you or anyone you know is interested in gaining experience with marketing, graphic design, or program coordination, email us at info at acbv.org or go to our website to find out more. And as always, you can stay up to date with all things art and culture through our website, acbv.org, or find us on social media at the Arts Council of Brazos Valley. Thanks for the time. Our community segment brought to you by McCafferty Electric. They light up your life.